And all else is lost compared to knowing you. What's up, guys? I want to share something with you tonight, hopefully to encourage your faith. The Lord has been answering my prayers lately and has really provided for me financially. And so I want to share that with you to encourage you guys and that your fa- your faith might be increased just as mine has been uh, through the Lord answering my prayer. So some of you guys know the other day, I or last week, I actually totaled my car. I got into a wreck and you know, my car's just destroyed and the airbags went off and everything else. And But the Lord protected me through it, so that was really awesome. But uh, I've been having to use uh, my sister Sarah's car um, to get from, from class. I, I don't live with my parents, but my dad brought it up. Uh, so And that was awesome. I, I've, my sister's been gracious enough to let me use her car. So I've been using that to get to class just because I have to commute. And so uh, I'm using that until we figure something else out. Uh, so the other day, I... Uh, you know the the gas tank was on empty and so I had to fill up with gas this was actually on Monday I'm making this video on Wednesday so it's just a couple days ago it's pretty fresh and so I go to the gas station the other day and I, I go to get gas and uh, I'm standing there and I, I realized my gas the gas stopped at two dollars and forty seven cents and I was like what the and I you know I, I look at my my phone to look at my bank account and I look and my account is on double zero I'm like oh my like where's all my money? And I'm like, look at, it. I look at my account activity, and uh, I forgot when I wrecked my car, I had to pay a guy to tow the car. I paid 130 bucks from the tow it, and so, uh, you know, I have, you know, I, I have my my bills and stuff and money all budgeted to where like, you know, I work enough hours to be able to pay my bills, uh, but not much more than that, and and so with that extra $130 bill that came out of nowhere, you know, with the towing, uh, and, and then a couple other bills came out the same day I had to pay that, I was just down to $2.47 and now I had nothing. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> and so <clears throat> I actually, I get in my car, I, I barely, I got like a gallon of gas and the, the gas tank's still on and I'm like, oh, this is going to last me. I, I don't get paid till, till Friday, six, you know, five or six days later. I'm like, I mean, what am I gonna do? I, so I call my dad, and I'm, I was just like, I, I was like, Dad, man, I'm on. I, like, I, I wasn't like worried or anxious really, but I was just kind of telling him, I was like, Yeah, I'm on. I got no money, nothing. <laughs> it's just like my the gas wouldn't even fill up, and he was like, Wow, man. Well, man, you better start praying that the Lord would come through because, like, honestly, like me and your mom, like, we're really tight right now too, and we, we don't really have that much wiggle room either and so I was like all right well I'm gonna start doing that and so uh this was on Monday so later on uh, in the day my dad actually sent me $30 through Venmo and I was like oh dad you didn't have to do that like I know you guys are tight right now and, and he was like well I just wanted to sew into you and so you know, that was awesome but if you know anything about the the Venmo app it takes two days for the transaction to go through so and I haven't got an email that said okay uh, he sent this to you on Monday, your, your money will come in on Wednesday. And so I was like, okay, like this is I good. I'll have money on Wednesday. But like right now I'm on empty. Like I'm literally on empty. I got to drive 25 minutes to school and 25 minutes back. Like I can probably make it there and be pushing it. But like, uh, I don't know if I can make it back. Like I'm, I don't know what to do. And, and, uh, so, you know, I, I, I go to bed Monday night and I'm just, I spend time probably 45 minutes just in prayer asking, Lord, would you please help me? I, I need your help. Like, I'm desperate for you to come through. I don't know what I'm going to do if you don't. And I was even contemplating the thought of, man, what if maybe I should really humble myself and and really ask, you know, maybe I should ask one of my classmates if they could help, you know, give me explain the situation, give me a couple bucks just to fill my gas, just like hold off till I get paid later on in the week. And, you know, I was wondering... But then uh, the Lord brought to me this scripture. He, he helped me remember the scripture. And it's, it's Psalm 37, 25. And, and in that Psalm, David says this. He says, I have been young and now I am old. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor God's children begging for bread. And I was like, oh, God, that is so good. Thank you for reminding me that. I just agree with you in that truth that... that uh, that you are the great provider. You love to provide for your children and your children do not will not beg for bread because you will provide for them. And I was like, God, I need you to do that even now. And so I go to bed. 
uh, that night and I wake up the next morning and check my bank account and the Venmo transaction had gone through a day and a half early. It was unbelievable. It was like, oh my gosh, what an answer to prayer. I can't believe it. Like, everybody knows it takes two days for your Venmo transaction to go through. But the Lord was just like, no, like, I'm I'm bigger than that. And you prayed and I answered. And I love to do things like that. And I was like, oh, that is so awesome. And I just want you guys to be encouraged by that. Man, like, there's power in our prayers, and, and James 5 even talks about, he says, the prayer of a righteous man, uh, it, it has great power, and, and what does a righteous man look like? If you look at Psalm 1, it's it's somebody, you know, it has a couple different things, and but, it, you know, somebody who meditates on his on his word day and night, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, seek the counsel of of the wicked people, like, like, he's someone who is, who is dwelling in the Lord, has a relationship with him, and so, like, I think one of the reasons the Lord answers my my cries of help in my desperation is because that's not the only time that I, I talk with him, I call out to him. It's not like, well, God's not up there. Well, you, you know, you really only talk to me when you need something. It's it's not like that. Uh, you know, I have a relationship with him where I talk to him and, ha- and have cultivated a life of, of conversation and prayer. And so when I am in time of need, I call on his name and he loves to answer. And it's so cool. It just increases my faith every time that it happens. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And so your faith could be increased as well. So hope it was encouraging. You guys have a great rest of the day.